Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yashara. Hallelujah. Grafted in Gentiles. Shalom, shalom. All those who are in the the quickening. All those who have received the witness. And those who are yet seeking Yahusha Hamashiach. Listen. This is why we're quickened to establish this kingdom to go back home, to establish his kingdom, to establish his kingdom in the earth, to, 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 to bring forth the reign of Yahushua Hamashiach in preparation. Yahuwah is trying to establish his people. We are awakened, but we yet need to be quickened. Listen, this message is the same. It's redundant. It is, you must receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach in order to be established in the kingdom of Yahuwah. And that's what he's called me to let you know. You have to receive the witness. And the witness is not just the 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 baptism and the blood but it's the ruach hakadesh it's yahu and yahusha in you it's becoming his tabernacle his temple it's going forth in the power of the ruach hakadesh to be witnesses yahuwah in the name of yahusha hamashiach i give you praise i praise you yahuwah because you're worthy of praise i give you glory and honor Yahuwah, I thank you for Yahushua Hamashiach, my kinsman redeemer, my returning king. I give you praise for Yahushua Hamashiach. I give you praise for his witness. For without the receiving of the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, there is no Yeshua. There is no kingdom. There is no, no blessing. There is no deliverance. There is no gathering. Yahuwah, I thank you for the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahuwah, I give you praise. For I recognize in the Ruach HaKadosh that you, through Yahushua Hamashiach, your salvation is the way, the truth, and the life, the Besorah and the Torah. Yahuwah, I pray in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach by the Ruach HaKadosh that you would take the reins of my lips and the reins of my tongue and reign. I pray, Yahuwah, that the words that I speak would be ruachal, spirit and life. I yield myself unto you as an instrument of righteousness. Yahuwah, the words that you gave to Yahushua Hamashiach is given to me by the Basura of Yahukanan. I've received them. I have received them into my heart. I have established myself in your Basura. I have received your Ruach HaKadosh, your who I am, your guardian, your Torah guardian, your, your kinsman redeemer. I am your avenger. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, Yaakov, Yahuda, Gaal has answered the call. Yahuwah, I am going forth in the Ruach HaKadosh and I'm praying, Yahuwah, that you would would take the take the reins, Yahuwah, that you would speak through me, Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yahuwah, I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, that I would not cause anyone to stumble, that anyone be turned out of the way, that anyone come up lame. Yahuwah, this is about your people and establishing your kingdom. Your people, those who have chosen, out of the Yahudim, those that you have chosen, out of Yasharal, those you have chosen from amongst the other nations, Yahuwah, this Basura, this righteousness, this, 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 this Yeshua, I give you praise, Yahuwah, I thank you, I thank you in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, listen, I am I spend time listening. 
I keep this before me. Because see, this is this song by Hezekiah that is entitled Jerusalem. Listen, listen. This always keeps me in remembrance of what it is Yahusha has called us to do, what the objective is. See, he's told me to tell his people that they need to receive the Ruach HaKadosh. They need to be established in the witness. They need to receive the way, the truth, and the life. They need the Ruach HaKadosh. That's, that's, that's the witness. That's what Yahuwah has called me to declare in order to get to Jerusalem, in order to get back home. In order to get to the place that he's appointed, whether you're wherever you Jerusalem is, it's in on the continent of Africa. We know this, but wherever he has established his 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 place, that's where we want to be. And in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, that's what this is about. So Jerusalem, I don't own the rights to this music. Hezekiah, listen, this is. One of my theme songs. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is one of my theme songs. <laughs> you know, I have several of them. Yeah, some by Lorvins, some by Pastor John J. Tatum. But this is my song. I listen to this every day, several times a day. to So I can remind myself in the Basora and the Torah of Truth what the, what the, what the objective is. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, listen, listen, listen. It's about going home. It's about being established. It's about his kingdom. It's about fulfilling his will. It's about, it's about doing the Basora. It's about, oh man, it's about Yahushua Hamashiach. Listen, we going in. As you well know that we are in the book of Acts. And again, as I stated before, we will continue in the book of Acts, right? Excuse me for a second. I got I to gotta, I gotta plug this in so it doesn't go. Uh, so I don't. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> um, we're in the book of Acts because that's where Yahuwah has commanded me to um, stay with the idea of revealing to his people what it looks like to walk in the witness and what it looks like to uh, have received his Ruach HaKadosh in demonstration and what it does, right? What it does, what, what the witness does and see what the nation needs to understand is that there is there is blessing in being Yahudim. And it's blessings in being of the nation, right? Right. There's blessings, right? But we have to understand that it's not in that alone. Right. It's a wonderful thing to know and to pursue a knowledge of who you are, especially when you've been stripped of your identity, okay? Especially when you have been told that you were someone else and you're not, right? We've been told that we have been Africans. We have told we have been Kush, you know. Um, and to know that we are Yahudim, to know that we are Shemites, to know that we are of the descendants of the seed of Avraham through Yisak and Yaakov, and the progenitor of the 12 tribes to know this, right? And to be able to see our ancestors in the volume of the book, right? You know, and it, it, it's a beautiful thing to know. But again, it all pointed to Yahushua HaMashiach and his witness. It all pointed to Yahushua HaMashiach and his witness, right? of which is wrapped this mystery of Yeshua, right? That you have to receive by the revelation of the Ruach HaKadosh because it's going to lead you and to guide you into our truth. You have to initially accept this in Emunah, but once you've received the witness and have been sealed with the Ruach HaKadosh, listen, 
all truth will be revealed to you, right? Yahoo is going to reveal all truth to you. Let's go in. We're left off in Acts, the 13th chapter, and there's about maybe seven or eight verses that we're going to address there, right, which are significant. And we're going to move into the, the 14th chapter, right? But as you well know, you know, we, we ended up in the 14th chapter having uh, Paul and Barnabas um, enter into the synagogue and having delivered a message, right? Right, the message, right? And what we'll do is we'll look at that 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 forty second verse of that thirteen chapter. It says, "And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogues, the Gentiles, right, but saw that these words might be preached to them the next Shabbat, right." So we have Paul and Barnabas, right? And Paul and Barnabas had made their way um, to; they had left. Um, they had left one location and they made their way to another, right? And John Mark went to Jerusalem, I recall. And, um, let me see. And Paul stood up and, okay. They were in, they had went they departed from Perga, and they came to Antioch and, Philist and Philistia and went into the synagogue on the Shabbat and sat down. Okay, so we understand that that's where they were, right? And in the 42nd verse, after having preached this Basora, right? This Torah of the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? to the Yahudim that were in the synagogues and to the Greeks, the other nations that were also in the synagogues, right? It says, and when the Yahudim were gone out of the synagogues, the Gentiles, right? Because the Gentiles went to the synagogue to hear the word of Yahuwah. The Greeks. They went into the synagogue, right, to hear the words of the apostles, the word of Yahuwah, to listen to the Torah, because the Torah is read all the time on the Shabbat in the synagogues, right? So no doubt these, these Gentiles had frequented the synagogue, right? Right? And they heard the word, right, of the original covenant written. They heard it spoken, right? And they heard the Torah read, right? Along with the Yahudim, right? But this new message that has been attached to what they had been listening to, right? It's something special, right? Right, because this message reach reaches beyond the nation, right, to those that are outside the nation, right? And they were fascinated with this word, right? And they desired that they would continue and bring this word, right? The Gentiles asked them. Not the Yahudim, right? The Gentiles requested that they come back on next Shabbat and to expound on this message, right, right, of the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? Because they wanted to hear more, right? Now you understand that in the beginning of the chapter, we were made aware of how the Ruach HaKadosh moves, right? Right? And how it, by the prophets and the teachers that were with Paul and Barnabas, as they were fasting and as they were worshiping Adonai Yahusha, right? How it declared that it was time to set aside or separate unto me, 
right, Paul and Barnabas, for the work which you had, which he had given them, right? And at which times they laid hands on Paul and Barnabas, right? Who already had the Ruach HaKadosh, but it was a setting apart and establishing for a particular, a specific ministry, right? Right? And Paul and Barnabas departed, right? And they went about the ministry, right? And they went into the temple, right? They went into the synagogue. They went amongst the nation, right? They went amongst the nations preaching and teaching the Basora, the Torah of truth, right? Now, this is their second place that they were at. And at this place, right? right? There were established Gentiles who had been listening and, and attending the Shabbat, right? Who had been listening to the original covenant and had received the word because they kept coming back. And now you have this Paul and Barnabas who opens up the way, right? They make known to them the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. And now they want to hear that word. Now, now listen, now listen, Hebrews. Yahuwah has those of the other nations that he has called out, excuse me, right? He has those of the other nations that he has called out to receive the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. He has those who have been chosen that have been called out to receive the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, right? Even in this awakening, right? You have Gentiles who Yahushua has called out to receive the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. And not only to receive the witness, but to move in the Ruach HaKadosh. To be witnesses amongst their nations. <laughs> Listen, Yahuwah always has somebody that are going to reach those who he has chosen. See, because you know the Yahudim, they were straightened to reach the Yahudim. They left Jerusalem and they went to take the Basora to the Yahudim, right? They took it into their synagogues. They took it into their assemblies, in their homes, where they were gathered, they brought this message of Yahushua HaMashiach to the nation. Because Yahushua came to his own. Right? He came to his own. That was number one priority, to establish his name amongst his people who he had a covenant with, right? A perpetual covenant, an original covenant, and now a renewed covenant through Hamashiach and him crucified that would establish them in his kingdom to serve as pillars in his kingdom. But Yahuwah and Yahusha, right, are available, will make known to those who desire to know him right, his will for them and bring to them the witness 
of Yahushua Hamashiach. This is the first missionary journey of Paul. Right? First missionary journey. This is that beginning. That initial understanding of what it is that they are to do. Right? So let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on. So 43, now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and the religious proselytes, right? Those that were converted, right? Right? Followed Paul and Barnabas, right? Right? Now the Jews and the proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, but the Gentiles didn't. But the Gentiles wanted to hear the word. The Gentiles, they wanted to. Hear the word the following Sunday. The, Sunday, I'm sorry. You will forgive me. I break the power of those words. The following Shabbat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? So now the when the congregation was broken up, many of the Yahudim, right? Right? And the religious proselytes, right? Those who were converted that were Greeks or that were of the other nations, who had been circumcised and had been established in the, the Torah following the commandments and keeping the feast days, those follow Paul and Barnabas, who speaking to them persuaded them to continue in the grace of Elua. So they followed him and they continued, right? They followed him. And they persuaded them to remain and continue to preach Yahushua. To preach Yahushua Hamashiach, the witness. To teach, right? To persuade them to continue in the grace of Elua. And the word became flesh. Yehukanan, the first chapter, the 14th verse. And the word became flesh, and it dwelt among us, and we beheld its glory, even as it was the only begotten of the Father. The word became flesh, Yehusha Hamashiach, full of grace and the Torah, truth. They persuaded them to continue in the grace, continue to deliver the word, continue to stand fast in declaring the Basur and the Torah of truth. These were Yahudim. And these were the proselytes. But the Gentiles requested that they come back and 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 and, and preach and teach on the Shabbat. The Shabbat. The following Shabbat. Right? So we have in that in the 13th chapter in the 41st verse, and the next Shabbat came. And almost the whole city together to hear the word of Elua. <laughs> so, right, you have the Yahudim and the proselytes. But now you have the whole city, which were Gentiles, right, that has come to hear this Basura, this witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. He's your child. Listen. Listen, listen. You better get a clue. The awakening is an awakening of everybody. It's 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 taking shape amongst the other nations differently than it is for us because we who are Yahudim that have been scattered through the four corners of the earth, we have been stripped of our identities. Now, the brews that are in Africa that are established, they recognize because they have their oral traditions. They have, they have their Torahs, right? They have their oral traditions. But we, we were stripped of all of that, right? We were stripped of that. Oh yeah, we were stripped of that. We were, we were, we were stripped of all of that. 
and we were put on islands and we were put on ships and we were transported and we were denied our culture. We were denied everything. We were told to assimilate and we did it under the fear of death. We were raped. Our children were fed to gators. We were, we were, our, our skin was used as belts and shoes. Come on, y'all. This is real stuff, right? We had no identity. And then they took our our Torah, our original, and our renewed, right? That they pieced to us, right? Because they removed books that were all a part of our canon. But they took them out because they didn't want us to recognize who we were. Right? They didn't want us to know. But now that we know, because this awakening is an awakening for the Yahudim, but it's also awakening for those that are of the other nations that are coming to grips with what their ancestors and their forefathers have done, and they have repented, and they're seeking the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yeah. This is that. That's why it's not just enough to be Yahudim. You have to receive the witness. Paul and Barnabas went into the synagogues to bring the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. He brought it from the point of Abraham and Moshe all the way to the point of Yahushua Hamashiach, right? For the Yahudim to recognize the necessity of having received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. See, we know we bruise, right? Of some of us who know we bruise, we know we Hebrews, right? But we have to understand the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and what that looks like. What that looks like, right? What that looks like. What that looks like in assemblies. What that looks like in the Ruach HaKadosh. The whole city came. The whole city came to hear the Besorah of Truth, the Torah, to receive the witness. And no doubt the Gentiles, right, of this nation of people, said, come here two men that has revealed this Yahushua Hamashiach who is the son of the all-wise and all-living Alua, Yahuwah, who has come and died for our sins. And what that means? No doubt. They came to hear the word of Yuhua Listen, listen, listen. Gentiles will come into your assembly and you better not deny them because they want to hear the witness of Yahuwah, Yahusha. You better not deny them, the other nations that want to receive the witness of Yahusha and Yahuwah that comes to your assemblies. You better not do it. You better not do it. You will put yourself under a curse. Get out. He said, say it again. You will put yourself under a curse. You cannot, you cannot consider defiled or profane anything that Yahuwah, Yahuwah sends to you to receive the witness. Yahuwah loves those in the other nations that he have chosen. He 
He says, others I must bring in. Listen, I love my 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 Gentile Yahoo. I, I love my Gentile uh 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 um, brethren. I do. Listen, I don't have a problem with Gentiles in the quickening. I don't. I don't have a problem with the Gentiles in the quickening. No. No, because they've received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Listen, listen, let's go on. But when the Yahudim saw the multitude, they were filled with envy. <laughs> and the Yahudim, the Brews, ye Brews, they know who they are now. You know who you are now. <laughs> yeah, you, you you've been awakened. <laughs> and the Gentiles know who they are now. <laughs> and they've been awakened, right? But they going on to the quickening. And you still messing around in the awakening. You are still messing around in the awakening, pursuing knowledge that is not going to get you established in the kingdom. Only the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach and the Ruach HaKadosh and following the commandments of Yahushua and Yahuwah to go and bring this Basara, this Torah, this witness to those who have he chosen. Listen, you better hear the word of Yahuwah. Sitting up here thinking, well, you know, we we we've been through so much trauma. Our people as a nation, we we've been through so much trauma. And you got some 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 Gentiles who 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 love Yahu and Yahusha, right? And who are trying to get to this relationship, get get through this to establish this relationship with the Yahudim that has been strained because of a lack of knowledge, right? Because cause, cause their fathers has lied to them, but now they've received this witness and they have received the Ruach HaKadosh, but we struggle, right? We, we, we want to like, well, we want to take care of our own people first. Unero, numero, right, right, okay, okay. Understand, get the Besor and the Torah of truth, right? Get the witness to them, but in the process of having received the witness, don't you dare deny a Gentile access into this kingdom. Be basa. Don't you dare deny a Gentile into access to this kingdom, into your assembly. You'll be under a curse. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because he's going to say, I came to you. And you didn't take me in. He says, you are going to say to me. And I'm going to tell you. I came to you. You didn't take me in. You, you, you didn't receive me. Yeah, because I didn't look like you. Get out on the I didn't speak your language. Right? I didn't speak Hebrew and we learning how to speak Hebrew. Yeah, so you got brews that are filled with envy. Yelling on the street corners, right, 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 disrespecting Allure Yahuwah. Yeah, I know y'all ain't gonna like this, but I don't care. Don't I don't care because you ain't received the witness. If this is a problem for you, then you have not received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. And until you receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you are going to be under a curse. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A little one. 
Look, 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 look. A little one is someone who is developing in righteousness. A little one can be a little child, but a little one can also be someone who has come to you, right? In the Ruach HaKadosh, having received the witness that wants to be a part and to learn before they go out. Come on, y'all. Listen. This ain't about you. This is about Yahushua HaMashiach and his witness. And this is what that witness looks like. This is what that witness looks like. It does not look like what the church looks like. We already discussed that. That's 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 a that's a ruach of supremacy. It's a ruach of racial racial discrimination. It's a it's a ruach that has that has infiltrated this nation and it has caused us as bruised and has caused them as Gentiles to look at one another a certain way. And now we awake. We know who we are. We the people of you. We got something to be proud of. We have something to be lifted up about. And we we have a right to envy. He's our Lou. He's our who Zabao. He's ours. You need the witness. You need the witness. Because he came to his own. And they didn't receive him. But as many as did receive him. To them he gave power to be the sons of Yahuwah. Those who have received the witness. Of the Yahudim. Of the nation of Yasharal. But the Jews saw the multitude. And they were filled with envy. Okay so. So let's look at that Greek word envy. What is that Greek word envy? How is that? Strong's G2205. Zelos. 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 Now it says here excitement of mind, adore, favor, fervor of spirit, zeal. Embracing, pursuing, defying anything, right? Envious, right? Because it's 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 uh it's uh a fierce indignation. Yeah, because that's what they was. They they were indignant. How are these Gentiles flowing into the synagogue on the ship? But coming to hear the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. This is for us. Listen, it is for us. He said, yeah, tell him, tell him again. It is for us. Right? Yahushua said it himself. He's come for the lost sheep of Yasharal. You know, he, he, he can't give the bread of the children over to the dogs because his mission was to establish Yasharal and Yehuda because the covenant was with them. But listen, even the dogs eat the crumbs fall from the master's table. Listen, even the Gentiles desire to eat and they don't want much. They just want the witness. All they want is the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they understand. If you see that they, 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 they got the clue. They got the something, right? Yeah, they received it, right? But the Yahudim are envious, contentious rivalry. They rivalry. Now they feeling kind of away. You know, you feel a kind of way, right? When you thought something was supposed to be yours and somebody else came in and stepped in and they stepped in with a bunch of other folk 
and it's supposed to be yours. And you got no envy. Right, right. Jealousy. Yeah. And a little indignation. Right? Indignation. You know. The Yahudi. Because of all the Gentiles that came in to hear the pursuit. They wanted the witness, right? So they were filled with anger, envy, and spake against those things which were spoken by Shaul, contradicting and blaspheming. Right? See now, this Shahudim, right? They went from a Shabbat of being in agreement with Paul and following Paul, right? Because it was all about them. Okay. And now Paul is preaching this witness of Yahushua Mashiach that's being received by these Gentiles. They got a problem with that. Now they got to dispute what Paul says because, you know, this is their message. He came to his own. This is, this is a Yahudim thing. Yahudim thing. Yes, it's a Yahudim thing, but it's, it is whoever wants to receive the witness. And it doesn't make a difference what your skin looks like. <laughs> it doesn't make any difference if you're Japhetic, if you're Kush Ethiopian, it doesn't matter about receiving the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. It's about receiving the witness. It doesn't matter if you Ashkenaz. <laughs> if you receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach and crucified you and identified with the Basor and the Torah of truth and you understand who the people are, it doesn't matter. You who? <laughs> Listen, listen. See, this Yeshua is strange, right? This Yeshua in the rule of Hakadosh is strange because you know, one minute we hear Yahushua says, you know, he's for his own people, and then the next thing we know, he is for the Yahoo, the for the for the other nations. But see, it's all about those who he has chosen. Amongst the other nations. These other nations as a whole aren't going to accept Yahushua Mashiach. Yahushua has chosen from amongst them. Those who are going to receive the witness. Right? And they're going to make a difference in the nation. Yeshua, it's, it's, it's strange, Yeshua, it's Ruach, Yeshua, listen, 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 they began to contradict Paul, and they began to blaspheme, mm. what's that word blaspheme mean in the Greek? Strong's G987, Bosphemeo, 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 right? It means to speak reproachfully, right? To rail, to revile, right? To be evil spoken of, right? He spoke evil of what you, Paul was preaching, right? Because Paul's message was a message of inclusiveness. <laughs> when in fact, they wanted to be exclusive. Yeah. They wanted that uh, Hebrew supremacy mentality to be going on. <laughs> listen, listen, we are Hebrews. We're Yahuwah's people. But even as Yahuwah's people, Yahuwah had laws concerning the other nations. There's nothing new under the sun.
Listen. Then Paul and Barnabas wax bold. The Ruach HaKadosh in you. Oh yeah, because you challenging the Ruach HaKadosh. You, you challenging the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Right? Right? And said it was necessary that the Basora, the way, the truth, and the life the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, the word of Elua, should first be spoken to you. Understand, it was necessary that Yahushua Hamashiach had to come in order to speak the Besorah to you, to establish you as a nation of people. Because he had a covenant with you, it was necessary that he come through you. Because Yahuwah is going to keep his word. With those he has established his covenant with. It was necessary. Yahushua pointed it out himself. He's come for the lost sheep of Yasharal. It was necessary. See, because, listen, this Basora, this witness, right, it's not going to be discerned by the Gentiles without you. Yahuwah has chosen those amongst the nations that have received the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. Right. Right. But it was necessary for them to receive this word through the Yahudim. He chose you first. There's something to be said about that. You are to be the example. Right? That's why he told the disciples, he listened, he says, love one another. He says, I have loved you. So, you think this love, this Ruachal love, was just for the Yahudim? <laughs> so, you mean to tell me that this Ruachal Hakadesh witness demonstrated in love as Yahushua commanded was just for the Yahudim. If you love him, you're going to keep his commandments. You're going to keep his words. They waxed bold and says, they said it was necessary that the Basora of truth, the Torah made flesh, Yahushua Hamashiach should first have been spoken to you. But seeing you have put it from you and then judged yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. <laughs> now, not everybody in the Yahudi. No, because there were many of people on the day of Pentecost, 3,000 souls that were Yahudim. And then after the persecution of the church, they went forth, right? They went forth to preaching and teaching the message of Yusha HaMashiach amongst the Jews, right? There's many that received the witness of Yusha HaMashiach amongst the Yahudim, right? Many. But a lot of the religious people that held the power, they felt like they didn't need it. They followed Paul and Barnabas around, but you know, they didn't exhort them like that. It was the Gentiles that asked them to come back. Verse 42, and when the Yahudim were gone out of the synagogue, right? After Paul had declared the word, right, they left. The Gentiles kind of came to Paul and Barnabas, heard it around them. You know, they, you know how we do. Hey, people do. They come and they're like, oh, man, y'all, them are gone. They're out. Let's, let's go and let's, let's, let's talk to them again. So they all came around and said, listen, listen, can you teach? Can you do this next, next, next Shabbat? Can you bring this word next Shabbat? Right? 
right? That's what happened, right? And Gentiles were sought these that these words might be preached to them the next Shabbat, right? Now, when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and the religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who, speaking to them, persuaded them to continue in the grace of Yuhalua. Go ahead and continue to preach and teach in the grace of Yuhalua, right? Because they didn't really know. They didn't discern they was coming back. <laughs> they didn't discern they was coming back. I think I, you know, go in the power of the word of you and you should, you know, yeah, be swayed. He said, go and uh, speaking to them and persuading them to continue in the grace of Yahuwah Lua. And yeah, like, you know, gave them a benediction before they was leaving because they didn't really expect <laughs> But oh, up pop Paul and up pop Paul and Barnabas on the next Shabbat. Along with the whole city. He says. But seeing ye put it from you. Right. This witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. And judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life. Because what you're doing is. Right. Because when the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach comes. It convicts of sin. And righteousness. And it judges. So having received the word from Paul and Barnabas, right? You've judged yourself unworthy. <laughs> having received the witness. But see, but the Gentiles, you know, they came out in numbers. <laughs> they, they wanted this witness. Right? That's why you should say, I'm going, I'm going to... Uh, make you jealous with the people that are not the people. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, listen. He says, we turn to the Gentiles. We turn to the other nations that will receive the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. We understand and Yahushua has set us apart for this message, right? He said, for so hath Adonai commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light to the other nations. I have set you to be a light to the other nations. Now again, Paul went into the synagogues to preach and to teach, right? right? He did. He still preached to the Yahudim who would have an ear to hear, but Paul preached to the other nations. He taught the other nations. They were assembled. They assembled in their houses. Paul went in and... Don't hear me. He says, so have I don't I commanded us, I have set thee to be a light to the other nations, that thou shouldest be for Yeshua unto the ends of the earth. He told he told he told he, he told Peter that. He let that sheet down as Peter received the vision, which had four corners. And all manner of beast. Right? He told Peter to slay and eat. He told him that three times. And then had three men sit by Cornelius from Caesarea to Joppa to Paul to uh Peter. And you Ruach told Peter to go with the men. And on the morrow, Peter went. The next day, Peter went with the three men and cohort. Cornelius and his, his whole family and friends were all there. <laughs> Numbers of Gentiles. And, and Peter received the witness that in fact it was Yahuwah's will that the Gentiles receive 
the witness of Yehusha Hamashiach because the Ruach HaKadosh fell on them just like it did on them on the day of Pentecost. Peter, look, we got to baptize these people. Him and the 600 men that came with him to Cornelius' house who witnessed this quickening. Hallelujah, speak Ruach HaKadosh. They witnessed this quickening. And Paul alludes to the fact that the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach is for him to bring to the ends of the earth. His message is the witness of Yahushua Mashiach, Colossians, Ephesians, Philippians, Galatians, Romans, Hebrews. <laughs> See, listen, the apostles and the prof the apostles, right? went to the nation and they dealt with the Yahudim, right? Our, our people in manners that related to keeping Torah, right? Because we had a covenant with you, a, a perpetual covenant, a Torah. And he dealt with the issues that we had as a people of Yahuwah by the Ruach HaKadosh having received the witness to the nation. But Shaul went to the Gentiles. See, because as Hebrews, we knew all we needed to do was keep the commandments and walk in the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. Receive the Ruach of Yadesh. We would be establishing the kingdom of Yahuwah. We'll be his sons and his daughters reigning in the kingdom. This message was foreign to the Gentiles. That's why Paul's letters are specific in reference to some of the things that the Gentiles were having as reoccurring issues because of the nature of how they had lived. You need the Ruach HaKadosh because this is a mystery. This mystery has been hid. And it's here to those who have not received the Ruach HaKadosh because it's here to those that are lost. Because the L, the L of the world, Hasatan, right, has caused them to receive this blindness. Right? And Christianity has helped foster and move forward this blindness. And I know that's hard for the people that I know that are Christians, right? It's hard, right? And I, I, I don't, I don't do this. I don't say these things to crush you, right? I don't. But the reality of it is, is it's, it's the Basora and the Torah of Yahuwah and Yahusha that has been taken without the guidance of the Ruach HaKadosh. Right, because it's not established on the obedience to the commandments what Yahushua Hamashiach said to keep, right? And because there's no Ruach HaKadosh attached, you have a bunch of people teaching doctrines and things that are not Ruach. They have nothing to do with the Ruach HaKadosh. They're not Messianic. They are not Mashiach. But you have been led to believe that they're Christian. They're, they're Catholic. They're 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 this spawn, right? And you have now the evolution of this Christianity and, and it's all about everything being okay. You got preachers that are motivational speakers. <laughs> that ain't Ruaco. Nobody convicts of sin. You could go to church and live the same way you lived when you went in and you came out. When, when Yahushua, and when the Apostle Paul said, shall we continue in sin? No. He said, we don't sin no more. But in the church we do. In the church we did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
come to church, dress nice, especially in the Baptist church. We were like decked out suits and ties. We was like shoes, flow sheens. Man, listen, that was the day to stretch your stuff. The sisters struck their stuff on them, they big heads. Right? Beautiful, but dead. Oh, yeah, dead. Come in, do the same things, repent, sometimes confess, sometimes don't. Get up and do a dance. Think they have the rule, think they have received the rule, like I all they doing is <laughs> listen. It ain't that. It ain't that, because you could do what you were doing, and it'd be okay. Same thing now. It doesn't matter if it's the Catholic Church. It doesn't matter if it's the Presbyterian. It doesn't matter if it's Protestant. It doesn't matter if it's Baptist. It doesn't matter if it's Assemblies of God. It doesn't matter if it's a Pentecostal church. It doesn't, it doesn't matter because they all are established on doctrinal truths that aren't truths. They're, they they say they have been quickened by the Ruach to establish this new sect this new offshoot but in reality it's not it's a familiar spirit it's a ruach yeah, it's hard for some people to hear I preach to some of these people and I preach from the the, the, the basor I preach from the Torah all the time and if you knew me you know I didn't I didn't preach to make people happy I preach to give you the truth and my, my conscience was clear because I always gave you the word that you gave to me. But listen, that was not the truth. <sighs> listen. Yahuwah said this Besor must be preached. And if we just coming into this awakening and we just receiving the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. And it's come to us first. And for us who have received the witness, right, of Yahushua HaMashiach, it's our responsibility to take it to the other nations as well as our people. We got to change the perspective that we have. Because this awakening, this quickening, is not the church. We don't do business like the church. The assemblies, it's not the church. The assemblies is a place to gather, to fast and pray, to receive a word or basura, and to go forth and carry this basura of truth to wherever Yahuwah and Yahusha has called us to. It's not a place where we just establish this cult-like environment and though what we do may resemble a cult By virtue of the Ruach HaKadosh, we gather to go out. We don't gather to stay in and live and then come back and have to lay the grounds of repentance again and get devils cast out and go out and come back three, late, three weeks later and got to get demons and devils cast out. That's the church. That's the church. That's what the church does. That's what the church does. Yahusha has delivered some of you and you have the Ruach HaKadosh, right? You better be doing what Yahusha has called you to do. And it's not just to, to get up and give a word in an assembly. 
It, it, it ain't a hard thing to give a word to a bunch of people that you know. It's a harder word to give a word to somebody that you know or in a condition or a state that you were in before. And now you are free and you got to say something to them to give them an opportunity to be free too. See, and some of y'all, some of y'all don't want to do it because you're scared you may fall back. What? Not if you've been made free and then Yahushua Hamashiach and received his witness and have the Ruach HaKadosh and the word of Basor of Yahushua, Yahushua dwells, remains, continues in you. You ain't got nothing to fear. You are dead in your trespasses and you were dead in your trespasses and sins, but he has made you alive. He's holding you back. Assembly should not be holding you back. You should be about Yahushua's business. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So Paul says in that in that forty seventh verse, for so haveth Adonai Yahushua commanded us, saying, "I have set thee to be a light to the other nations, right? That thou shouldest be for Yeshua." To the ends of the earth. And when the Gentiles. The other nations. Heard this. They were glad. <laughs> they were glad. They were glad. They were glad. And they glorified the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach. And they glorified Adonai. They glorified the words of Adonai Yahushua. And as many as were ordained, and as many as were ordained to eternal life believed. Appointed. So you understand? Now, do you understand what he said? Right? Those who he had chosen amongst these nations, who he had ordained, right? Okay, now, now, now let's look at that Greek word. Strong's G 5021. Tasso. 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 That word means to put in order, right? To place in a certain place, to arrange, to assign to a place, to appoint, right? To appoint those who Yahuwah has appointed, right? 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 Those that had an appointment of the nations. Because the message is always to those who he has chosen. Those who are appointed to one, who's appointed to one's own responsibility or authority, to appoint, to ordain, to order. Many are called, but few are chosen. To those who have been appointed, those who have received the witness that Yahuwah has chosen to eternal life believed. Listen, listen. This strange, this Yeshua is strange. This Yeshua was hid. It was hid. This mystery was hid. Right? Was hid. Yahuwah has an appointment of eternal life. Those who he has chosen amongst the other nation. Right? To believe on Yahushua's witness. To receive the Ruach HaKadosh. To be baptized in water.
And the word of Adonai was published throughout all the region. Now, these people did not go out without being baptized, and these people did not go without receiving the Ruach HaKadosh, right? Because they were ordained unto everlasting life. In order to receive everlasting life, you have to receive the entire witness of Yahushua Mashiach. And the entire witness is having received the blood, having received the water, and having received the Ruach HaKadosh. So by virtue of the fact that they were chosen, ordained to eternal life, which means they had received and believed, they have received the entire witness of Yahushua Mashiach. And just because they didn't say they were baptized, just because they said he laid hands on them and received the Ruach HaKadosh, does not mean that did not happen. Because by virtue of the fact that they were ordained to eternal life and believed, Gentiles. Now, I didn't say the whole town was. It didn't say everybody that came out received it. But those who had an appointment, those that Yahuwah had chosen, those that he had ordained, right? right, to eternal life, believed. Listen, I'm Hebrew, but I was ordained. From my mother's womb, Yahuwah had chosen me. He put his Ruach HaKadosh in me at an early age. I was a young man. 13. Twelve, thirteen, maybe a little older, but I believe the witness of Yahushua. I believe what the what the word says. He said, "If you receive Yahushua Hamashiach and believe, I did." And then he said, "You receive the Ruach Hakadosh." Asking you, I want the Ruach Hakadosh the way it is here, and he gave it to me, just the way it wasn't there. In my upper room. <laughs> in my bedroom. Yes, he did. 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 Right? He says in 49, verse 49, he says, And the word of Adonai was published throughout all the region. See, these Gentiles, right? That were ordained that were appointed, right? That were ordained and appointed, right? To eternal life, believed, went and carried this witness throughout the region. <laughs> uh, they became witnesses of the Ruach HaKadosh and they demonstrated the power of the Basora to the other nations. They went out into the region and preached. Right? And you know, even in this region, you know, you know, they established assemblies. And you know, Paul had to write letters. He had to visit them, revisit them. Because you know, these, these, these other nations, they started with the Basor and the Torah and, and they received the witness of Yahushua and Hamashiach, but they, you know, they didn't have the, they, they didn't have the, the, the established covenant that we as a people of Yahuwah have, having received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, we understood that we need to still keep the Torah. Because that was a covenant that Yahuwah has established for his people. Right? That's why when we received the Ruach HaKadosh, the witness of Yahushua, Yahushua and Yahuwah, who understand that they are Hebrews, listen, we are on a whole different level. And Yahuwah, we are literally pillars. We are his people, 
right? We are his people. We are of the nation of Yasharal. We are the people that he is coming to gather out of the nations that we've been scattered. Now, the other nations are going to be free to come, but, you know, they're going to return to their own lands too. They're going to they gonna share this witness. Oh, yeah, they're going to share this witness. This, this Besora still has to go out. There are going to be those who receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach from the other nations in their nations. Oh, yeah. Because they're going to start going home. And they're going to witness to it. Yeah, man, you know, Yahushua and him, him, he, he, his witness is why all of this is happening. You need to receive the witness of the you. Listen, 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 listen. The mistake is, right? The mistake is, and you have to, you have to be careful, right? The mistake is that Yahuwah is going to stop providing Yeshua. The mistake and the trick is, is that Yahushua is going to cut off receiving people. Yahushua says, when you call on his name, he going to answer you. He going to be people that's going to call on the name of Yahushua. When the people realize who the people of Yahuwah is, and Yahuwah takes us and puts us in that place and protects us from all the powers of, of Hasatan until the point where he you know, they literally come in and attack us again. You got, you got other nations, right? People from other nations that have received the witness of Yusha Hamashiach in their nations. Then you got those who are going to be in Jerusalem, wherever Jerusalem. They're going to be in that place with the Yahudim. They're going to come along with them. And the word of Adonai was published throughout all the region. Because those that were ordained unto eternal life amongst the other nations went and published it. You listen, you better not turn away a, a, someone from another nation that wants to come in fellowship and to be a part of your assembly. Listen, if, if, if their motives are unrighteous, then listen, Yahuwah is going to make that known. Oh yeah, he gonna deal with that. But that's his job. Now, don't get me wrong. As leaders of the assemblies, of course, we're supposed to oversee and, and provide leadership and make sure that what we are, 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 are doing and how we are um, protecting the sheep, the flock of you, right? We're doing what we need to do. But listen, you have leadership that have the Ruach HaKadosh. And together, when you're fasting and praying, you know, when he starts to send people to you, you got to receive them. And you have to trust the Ruach HaKadosh is going to do something. Because, you know, he brings people to you to, to, to put them in a place and to establish them so that they can be about his business. See, that's, that's, that's the difference between the assemblies and the church. The assemblies establish leaders. Yet yeah, they're a place where you can gather and you can fellowship, but they establish leaders and they send them forward. Look what look what just happened with the Gentiles. They came and received the word, was quickened in this witness, and went and published. They went and pu this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you are moving in the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. This is what it looks like. This witness quickens the 
the nations. And they go out and publish it. They put, listen, listen. I invite everyone that is of the other nations to hear and receive my witness. Because my witness is the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. Yeah, my witness is the walking in the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Yeah, you could fellowship with me. You could fellowship with the Basur of Truth. Yeah, you're welcomed in the Basur of Truth. Oh yeah, you're welcomed in the Basur of Truth. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could participate in my Zoom. You could, you, listen, you're welcome. Because all you're going to get from me is the Basur and the Torah of Truth. And I'm going to make sure that you get what you need to send you on your way to do what Yahuwah has called you to do. We gonna fellowship. We gonna break bread, right? But this ain't a church. This assembly is not a church. This is a place for you to receive a word and a direction and to strengthen you. And by the Ruach HaKadosh, when he tells you, you go and do what it is he called you to do. And you can come back as often as you want to receive strength in the word, have questions answered, and get understanding. Listen, this is a, this, this, this is a ministry that is, is intent on producing fruit. And I can't produce fruit by myself. No, no, no. I can't produce fruit by myself. Right? I can't produce fruit by myself. My, 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 my uh, YouTubes are designed by the Ruach HaKadosh to bring understanding and teaching and direction. Right? Hopefully to move you in the direction to fortify you in the Ruach HaKadosh established in the witness so you can go forward. You could use my, my YouTubes in any situation you want to, but it's designed to get you to a place where you understand and then you go do what you would call you to do. Yeah, that's what this is. That's what this is. That's what this is. That's what this is. This, this, this is what this looks like. And this is what this is what it looks like. Looks like. It looks like. You'll get oversight. You'll get support. Right? You will get encouragement. Right? You will get the books on the tour of truth. Right? You gonna fast and you gonna pray because you gonna receive the witness and you gonna receive the direction that Yahuwah has for you. Listen, 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 listen. He says, but the Yahudim stirred up the devout and the honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas. See, because this is what happens when you have someone who preaches the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. See, those people who are notable, right, who don't appreciate your witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, and what you are delivering to people in reference to the truth, right? They're going to stir up stuff. They're going to stir up stuff. Yeah, they're going to tell people, don't, don't listen to that man. Don't listen to that Moray. Don't listen to him. 
Don't listen to that more, Ray. Don't listen to me. He 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 ain't teaching the truth. This is Yahoo Dan. These people of the nation. These are Hebrews. Speaking evil against Hebrews. Because my witness is that you must receive the Ruach HaKadosh, the entire witness of Yahushua and Yahuwah. And the signs of Yahuwah and Yahushua shall follow you. If you receive the witness. And because you Yahoo DM and you keep Yahuwah's law, statutes, and commandments, this stuff should not be hard for you. You shouldn't even be breaking the law. The mystery, the mystery, the mystery, the mystery it came to you first. All you had to do was receive the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach. You already had obedience to Torah. You knew what it meant to obey Torah. Now you could. You just need to let the Yahudim know, listen. We have a witness in Yahushua Mashiach. He has established us as a kingdom of kings and priests. We are in his kingdom by the Ruach HaKadosh. We need to keep the, the Torah. We need to observe the feast days because that's what we do. That's who we are. But apart from Yahushua Hamashiach's witness, it's vanity. It's vain. But the Gentiles, you know, they didn't have that. They didn't have no laws, no statutes, no commandments. That's why Paul, listen, these are the things that y'all deal with. These are the things you got to put away. You got to mortify your members. Listen, listen, listen. But the Yahudim stirred up the devout and honorable women and the chief men of the city and raised persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them out of their coast, right? Now, these Jews stirred up the honorable Gentiles. Those that had a power and authority in the city. Stirred them up. And they put Paul and Barnabas out of their coast. The Yahudim stirred up the Gentiles that were honorable men and women. Men who had 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 high positions. Had influence. That's what it is. People who, who had influence. They were honorable because, you know, they had influence. You know, they may have money. They may have... They had whatever influence they had. They went amongst them and said, listen, these men, they going to they gonna disrupt your city. They preaching this Yahushua and them. You hear him, him crucified. They talking about this witness and you got your people that's taking hold of it. It's going to be a problem. You think? Yeah, it's going to be a problem. So what should we do? You should get these men out of your city. Yeah, who did? Get these men out of your city. But they shook off the dust of their feet against them and came to Iconium. So now we have, right? Because the Basora has went in to Yahushua and they received it. Cut out! Cut it out! Go lay down! Now, you have Yahushua, right? Basora preached. And those who were chosen amongst these Gentiles, right? Ordained to believe, right? They gone out. And everybody else who did not receive the witness, they were judged. Because that's what the Ruach HaKadosh, the witness, does. It reveals sin, right? 
It reveals righteousness, right? And it judges because it revealed the sin of the Yahudim that were blasphemy, right? Right? It convicted and it revealed righteousness because you had these Gentiles who received the witness, right? And were ordained and appointed and went out and did and published this witness. And now you have the judgment, right? You have Paul and Barnabas shaking the dust from their feet as a witness against them. And they came to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Ruach HaKadosh. The disciples, right? Those who were amongst the Gentiles? The disciples. Those who received the witness. Those who were pupils. Those who followed and, 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 and pursued Paul and Barnabas. Who went about publishing. They were filled with the Ruach. <laughs> uh, listen, these disciples were Gentiles. They weren't Yahudim. <laughs> Yahweh, Yahweh. Right? And the disciples were filled with joy because they were now a part of this witness. They were now part of the kingdom of Yahushua. They were now grafted in. They had now a right to celebrate. Don't you be that brew. Don't you be that pea brew. Don't you be that Hebrew that causes division. Don't you be that brew that denies access to. Don't you be that brew. Don't, don't, don't you be that one. Because you'll be cursed. You will be judged. Because the Ruach HaKadosh is witnessed against you this day. Man of y'all, woman of y'all. That's it. Yahuwah Yahushas. The witness. The witness. Abba. In the Shamayim. The word. In the Shamayim. And the Ruach HaKadosh. In the Shamayim. They agree. To the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, which is the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. And actually the scripture says the Ruach HaKadosh, the water, and the blood. Because the witness, the Ruach HaKadosh makes the witness, establishes it all as one on the Eretz. You have to receive the witness. You can't be that Yahoo damn that refuses to give access to the other nations. Now, I want to say this as well to the other nations that have received the witness. You who have been grafted in as wild olive branches, right? Have to have the same mind as Yahushua Mashiach. This is not just a witness for you to witness to 
the Gentiles. Because, you know, Yahuwah may call you to witness to a Hebrew. Yahuwah may call you to witness to a Hebrew. And, and the Ruach HaKadosh will lead you to witness to a Hebrew. See, because there are some Hebrews that don't know they are Hebrews that will listen to you before they listen to a Hebrew. Yeah. <laughs> you don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You have some Hebrews that have more confidence in the Gentiles and what they say than they have in their own Yahudim people that they will not receive the witness from. So you have to as well be open to moving in the Ruach HaKadosh to share the Basura, the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach with the Hebrews. Yahuwah, I give you praise for your basur of truth, your word made flesh. I give you praise for Yahushua HaMashiach. For the words that you gave to him, he has given to me. And Yahuqanan, who record them in the basura of Yahuqanan, I've received the witness. I've received the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. And I've received the witness in the Shamayim, you Abba, the word Yahushua and the Ruach HaKadosh. Listen, these three are one. The witnesses on the Aretz are one. And I've received them. I pray that the words that you have given me to give to them that they would receive and keep. Father, I pray in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach that the revelation of the Basura of Truth would come alive in them. I pray for the Gentiles, right? I pray, Yahuwah, that your word would reach the Gentiles, the other nations, the Basura, the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach, not church, not Christian church, not that Yahuwah, but the Basura of truth of Yahushua HaMashiach. I pray that that witness would reach them. And that they would receive that witness. That witness. Because that that Christian witness, it is it is a destroyer of all nations. Because it's not on the truth of the Basura by the Ruach Kadesh. Yahuwah, I pray in the name of Yahushua Mashiach that you would reveal this to them. That you would make this plain to them. That you would show it to them by the Ruach HaKadosh. I pray that they would receive the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. And that that witness would lead them and guide them into our truth. I pray that they would establish a disciplined life of fasting. And worship and praise unto you. That you by these disciplines would reveal all truth to them in the Ruach HaKadosh according to your Basura and your Torah. Yahuwah, I thank you. I thank you that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart are acceptable in thy sight. And Yahuwah, I pray right now that those who need to receive your Ruach HaKadosh that are looking to receive it in faith and Imunah, I release my faith with theirs and I declare that they can receive, that they receive the Ruach HaKadosh Yahuwah, you declare that the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just, that sinners have the task of gathering it to hand it over to us. Yahuwah, this ministry, these ministries, these, these, these works need your finances. They need your, 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 your offerings, Yahuwah, to advance. And I'm praying that all of them receive what they need in order to do what they need to do for your kingdom. Yahweh, I give you praise. I thank you for Jerusalem. I give you praise for your kingdom come. I give you praise, Yahweh, that your word, your word be done in us, in obedience, in love. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach. Listen, man of Yah called to greatness.
Woman of Yahuwah, beautifully and wonderfully made. Listen, you of the Yahudim, of Yashara, and you of the other nations that have received this witness. Listen, you are the blessed to be a blessing. Go, go. And do what Yahuwah, Alua, and Yahushua Hamashiach, by the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh, has given you to do. And with that, I say, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.